Welcome back to this Test Model 101 series, where we're going to be looking at generating some test cases. It's really important that your test cases are designed in a manner that gives you the optimized set of tests and enables great coverage. Part of this video, we'll be talking about how our algorithm creates paths, generates optimized sets, and also applies different coverage techniques that you can apply to make sure you get the perfect test suite. Within Test Modeler, we have an algorithm generates the paths or the test cases from the model. Um, it considers all potential valid paths, uh, and something that typical humans can't do manually. We can select minimum, maximum, de desired different coverage metrics. We can utilize specific tags to target our test suite if something within there needs extra special attention. Instead of trying to do this manually, we do this through our algorithm and through the model. This is a key benefit of what Test Modeler can provide. Coverage is often quite an argumentative term. For us, we're talking about the coverage of the model. How many tests does it take to cover every single path, every single journey that exists within that model? Now, we've got different ranges of coverage depending on the type of testing that you want to do. If you want to do some lightweight user-based testing, perhaps the nodes or all nodes is enough. If you want to do something exhaustive, Maybe you need to look at every single path and every single condition. There are different profiles depending on your scenario, and depending on the importance of a particular piece of testing. There's different ways we can get better, more effective tests. And there are different ways that we can get more exhaustive or equally light touch tests. As part of this, I'm now going to show you how we get our tests, how we generate them, and how coverage profiles are really important. Okay, so inside Test Modeler, we're going to uh, come under our project of examples and we're going to have a look at fun with coverage. And in here, we have got an invoice and this is an invoicing process that we're going to have a little look at. So to generate tests, it's very straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the right side here, a little plain icon, which is to generate tests. And here we go, we've got 11 paths. And as we cycle through, we can see the paths that have been selected. Now, within here, these tests have been generated and for quite a simple model, uh, what we want to do is now understand how we've generated these different paths. To do that, we have a test generation tab at the top and we are currently running under our default profile. Um, our default profile will give us a reasonable level of coverage in terms of the model. Um, but it might not be specifically what we're after. So if we click on coverage, we'll see that we've got our medium and we can click on advanced here and we can see all of the different types of things that we can do. So by default, we're going to be covering, you know, a lot of the all out uh, in out edges, but it's not necessarily exhaustive. Um, how do I know that? Well, I've set up a few different profiles. So if I'm looking for what I'm calling min here, I've got myself six paths that have been generated. So this is a low coverage amount that's just going to be touching each of the nodes um, and giving me essentially like a simple series of tests. And depending on the, the time or my profile of testing or what this particular process is, that may be enough, may not be enough. That's in your sort of uh, decision to decide. Um, if I set myself to all, what we'll see here is that actually there are 54 potential parts that exist within this process. Uh, so you can click through all of these and you can see the path they're taking. Um, there is a process here which has got a layer of complexity, right, which we are able to visualize and understand. But actually, this shows why modeling is incredibly important in understanding uh, the different types of scenarios that can occur. So on the face of it, with a uh, a default profile or with a with a minimum profile, six paths might seem like a lot of tests that you're doing, but actually the model is showing us that there is some serious complexity that uh, the human brain will struggle to write out into tests, and therefore our coverage profiles are able to give us assurances depending on what we need to do. So for this coverage profile being exhaustive, that essentially tells me, give me every single path, every single route through this model to every single endpoint um, and I'll make those decisions.